Man, I got to cook supper tonight, and I'm going to do it right here on this black stone. Man, we're going to have us some fried cube steak along with some cheesy seasoned potatoes. It's going to be good. Now, these cube steaks is actually made out of pork, not beef. Uh, a lot of people's never seen that. And all you do is just take a pork cutlet or a boneless pork chop, and you cube it. And, well, some of the grocers around here sell it. Some don't. If they don't sell it, a lot of times I'll buy a boneless pork loin. I'll slice it up, and we got a little hand cuber. And we'll keep our own up. But these here that you're going to see here in a minute, we actually bought these. So we're going to get these cooked up here, and they're going to be so good. Believe it or not, it's very simple. All it's going to be done on top of the griddle here. But before we get started, please, please, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. It really helps this channel out. Any interaction helps us out. Please let us know what, what you like, what you think, what you're doing, just whatever. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. If you're new to the channel, and you've never been here before, hey, welcome. What we do here is man, we have fun. We have fun doing everything, whether it be cooking, you know, going somewhere, what our challenge is, whatever we're doing, where we just love to have fun. And cooking can be fun too, so that's what we're doing. Show you how easy and simple and fun cooking can be. So if you're also, you know, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let us know you're new. Love to have you. If you've been here, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for anything in the video, Check the descriptions down below. We have a lot of stuff down there. I also have a lot of social media links down there. We have Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. We have all that down there. If you want to connect with us other ways, there's that. We also have an email address, and we have a mailing address, too. So check all that out. Love to, love to have you with us, and let's get started. All right, we got to get this thing fired up. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on these two burners here and these three burners here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to leave this side off like normal. In case these things get start getting done more than others, I can slide them over. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn these things down to about a medium low. And let them get heating up there. So about halfway between medium to low-ish is where you want this thing. So let's get this heating up while we show you what we're cooking. Okay, to make this meal tonight, it's really, really simple. Now what we have here is we have, you know, everybody I'm sure you've seen cube steak. Well, this is just... A boneless pork chop that's been cubed up, or, or pork cutlet, depending on where you're from. We're going to take that and put in some uh, some flour here, just some regular self-rising flour. And we're going to season them with this Blackstone all-purpose seasoning. This is some really, really good stuff. As far as the taters go, we just got some taters, some russet taters that we cut up. Now, how we cut ours was we, we sliced them and then quartered them. Didn't worry about them being perfectly, you know, symmetrical or... Well, that's a big word I know, and I learned it today. But we didn't worry about them being perfect. Hey, cut them up like you want. If you want them diced however you want them, that's fine. Now, don't see many people cooking with this, but this is what we're going to use on them taters. We're going to use some chicken and herb seasoning. This is some really, really good stuff on them taters. Then we're going to top them taters off with some Kobe, back, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, some shredded cheese here. And, man, this is going to turn out so good. So let's get to cooking. The griddle is ready. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put these taters on first because they're going to take a little longer to cook. Them cube steaks ain't going to take long at all. These taters are going to take a little bit longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down just a little bit of oil. Then we're going to throw down the taters. Get them all. Uh-oh, you got a few in there not want to come out. Get them all in there. Take our chicken and herb. And mix them up. Now, as far as that seasoning goes, we are going to put more of that on there. It season the taste. I mean, you know, put some on there. Try it. If you want more, that's fine. And get these all stirred up. Put some more seasoning on here. Man, this seasoning smells so good on this griddle. It's a hot griddle top. And I say that about a lot of the seasons. I, I know. I really do. But this chicken and herb, it's just putting off a smell that is just really awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more oil to my taters. We're going to mix them up good, and then we're going to spread them out. 
and just kind of let them fry. All right, let's spread these out here. It's not like bacon seasoning, don't we? Try to get them all touching if you can. Or as many as you can, anyhow. There, that'll, that'll work. All right. Now, got them going. We got to get these chops ready. I call them chops. I actually get the cube steak ready. So let's do that. Okay, to do these cube steak, I mean, you know, we're not going to batter them. We're just going to flour them. But what we're going to do is, what I've learned is give a good heavy coat of flour and don't shake that extra excess flour off. Just leave them coated. Like so. That's what's going to form a good crust on that black stone. Give them all a good coat of this flour. And I know you're probably thinking I forgot to add that season, but I haven't. I'm going to add it when I throw it on the black stone. Well, actually, one side of it right before I throw it on there. And then as soon as I put them on there, I'm going to put them on the season side down. And I'm going to show you all that. How I'm going to do this. It's very simple. But the key to this, getting a good crispy outside, is don't shake that excess flour off. That really, really, really is important on this. Leave all that flour on there. Leave all that on there, and now we got to get seasoned up here. So grab our seasoning. What we're going to do is we're just going to give it a good coat of this all-purpose. Now, what we'll do is when we throw it on the griddle, we're going to put this side down, and then we'll go ahead and season the other side that way. So there we go. They're ready. Let's check on these taters. Let's give them a good stir. Oh, yeah. Look how they get that kind of crisp golden brown look to them. Just what we're looking for. And look at that. They're already looking good. So I got a little crisp to them. I'm actually going to add a little bit more seasoning to them. Stir them up again. Now, this is actually one of the kids' favorite things. They love these potatoes with that chicken and herb seasoning and that cheese. And that's the reason I'm cooking so much of it. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pile them up and we're going to put a dome on this thing. All right, we got them piled up. We got to dome them up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit them. Uh-oh, I got to get them all under there now. Don't let them sneak off from you. Get a little water. Let them steam. Now, those are going. We got to get these, uh, these cube steak on here. So let's get that done. So to do the cube steak, to fry on the griddle top, put down some oil. You definitely want a lot of oil. Like that. Let's turn these down to low now. Like that. You want a lot of oil. Oh, man, the smell of that smells so good. It smells so good. What you want there? Now we'll take it and we'll season this side back up here. Like so. And there you go. Now the trick to this is keeping them flipped. You don't want to let them cook on one side very long at all. And you want oil around them. So we're going to kind of just hit these up a little more oil here. Now what I have found is tongs. Tongs work great. Keeping them moving around. Okay. As you see, see they brown up quick. 
they brown up real fast. You don't want one side to cook a lot faster than another, so you just keep flipping them. And I promise you, these will turn out great. Give y'all a little close up here, what they look like after just, just real quick. You seen how quick we put them on the griddle and flipped them? We're fixing to flip them again just, just to get them cooking. All right, let's give these things a flip again. Oh yeah, see there? Look at there, look at that. Looking good. Now you might need to turn them around, you know. I mean, every griddle and every grill has a hot spot. And this ain't no different. Put a little oil down. Keep them going. Let's check the taters. Ooh, man, that smells good. Give them a little flip, spin them around here. All right, we're done with them back up. There we go. Check our tongs, they're working. Flip this over, get a little oil here. Kind of move these around, turn them around a little bit. Looking for that good golden brown. That's what we're after. And the smell between that chicken and herb, and it's all purpose seasoning, and it's just amazing coming off this griddle right now. I gotta have some tea. All right, like I said, keep them flipped, see there? You wanna keep them flipped. You might even wanna swap positions every now and then, move them around. Cause like I said, some places are hotter than others. Just keep a check on them. Get them done like you want them. And these are gonna be good, I promise you. They're pretty much almost done. We're just trying to crisp that, that outside up get these taters here done yeah it's gonna be good speaking of taters let's check tenderness look at that i already cutting straight through there look at that so i tell you what i'm gonna try one see if the season is like i want it Almost. I say it needs a little more. Like I said, season these to your taste. Get them like you want them. Now these taters, I don't want them mushy. They're getting soft now. Got a little crispy outside, soft in the center. Just the way I want them. Let's flip our chops. They're pretty much done. Quick cook. It really is a quick cook. See there? Yeah. Let's, just check your sides. You don't want one side more done than the other. It really is a quick cook. It won't be long. We're going to eat. Y'all just look at all that goodness going on on this griddle right here. Even though there ain't no bacon, there's a lot, a lot of goodness happening right here. All right, let's flip these things again. Oh yeah, got a good crust on them. Perfect. Just what I'm looking for. I mean, y'all look at that golden crust on there. That thing's still tender. But see, they're so thin, it don't take them long to cook. That's the beauty of doing these cube steak on a griddle. And the potatoes, it don't take long to cook either, as you've seen. So this is something you can do even at a campsite, you know, just in your backyard, wherever you are. This is a very easy meal to throw together, but it's going to be very good. Now, the potatoes we're not quite done with. We still got to put them on a tray, and then we got to put cheese on them and melt that down. 
but that's coming. All right, let's slide this over just a little bit. Take our dome off this. Now, what I have here is a cast iron uh, serving platter from Lodge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and just put the taters on it. Like so. See if we can't get them all on here. Come on, taters, get get together. Get your stuff together there. They ain't gotta be pretty, just gotta be on there. Alright, them man, them taters are so soft, you can just feel them. Now, as far as cheese goes, use as much as you want. We got some Kobe Monterey Jack cheese here we're going to put on here. We first to melt it down. And then supper will be ready. Now, to melt it down, I'm going to get my big dome. And get some water. And let that steam melt that cheese down. But don't forget to keep your chops flipped because it is about time to take them up. I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful crust on them chops. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Loving that crust. Loving it. So once this cheese is done, we're going to plate this up and we're going to try this out. Guess what, y'all? Let's check on this cheese. I think it's about done. Let's look. Oh, yeah. Put my dome up. Now, nah, there's one other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to dust the top of it with some more chicken and herb seasoning. Just a, a little bit. There we go. Y'all, it's time to eat. All right, y'all. Y'all just look at those beautiful, beautiful cube steaks we done did cooked up. But, actually, I want you to look at this. Look at them cheesy seasoned potatoes. We done did made up here on this grill with that Monterey Kobe Jack cheese or Kobe Monterey Jack cheese. Anyway, it's, it's good. And the crust on this is, man, I cannot wait to try this out. So we got to do it. We just got to try it. Okay, y'all. I tell you what, supper is ready. I get, I'm the first one to get to try it out. Crazy crew, they're out riding a golf cart and whatever. I don't know where they're at right now. They're out doing something. They're not here to try this yet. So I get to try it straight off the griddle. Don't tell them. Shh. So I'll tell you what, I am gonna try this cube steak out. Oh yeah, tender, fork tender, oh man. Just look at that crust on there. Mmm, man, perfect. Bread is not too thick, it's just the right little crisp to it. That seasoning, that all-purpose seasoning on there is just delicious on there. Yeah, great. I'm going to try these taters now, though. My cheese. Well, I don't know if you're going to see that. Cheesy taters. Oh, boy. That seasoning. That seasoning with that creaminess of that cheese. That chicken and herb. If you've never even tried the chicken and herb, if you've never even heard of it, you got to get that. Try it on these potatoes. They are delicious. And that cube steak is awesome with that all-purpose seasoning might even try with chicken and herb next time can't ever tell it might be good but i know it's good with this all-purpose so look how simple that was a little bit of flour a little bit of taters cheese nothing nothing major no no fancy stuff here just real simple and we had fun doing it at least i did hope you all have fun watching them so i tell you what i got to finish cooking some more because the crazy crew is going to eat more than just this you know that so right, let me get this done. I got to cook all that. You go down to the description down below. Check out all them links we have down there. Connect with us on, on all our social media platforms. We'd love to hear from you. Love that. We love connecting with everybody. While you're down there, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We would appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Mmm.